film three. We've got this gigantic battle for Pelmer Fields and the Rohan Riders, you know, all 5,000 of them had a huge part to play in that battle. Pete had a general idea that he wanted it to be very showy and intense and extreme and you know, show the carnage of war. So we knew that the horses and the riders were going to have to take some terrible falls. So there were going to be things that they would have to do that just you couldn't even attempt with a real horse, nor would you want to. So Peter wanted to have a lot of uh, digital horses. Horses are very dynamic creatures. Everyone knows what they look like. And so there was a lot to recreate. Yes, it was daunting and um, quite a challenge because we knew we were going to have to make our digital horses stand up alongside the real thing. The shot that we used to develop a lot of these technologies is the shot where the NASCAR comes swooping down, takes out a, a bunch of horses that are fleeing back to Minas Tirith. This is a typical shot. Horses are running through the shot. Nobody's falling, no one's getting hurt. So it was our job to put horses into it. Tolkien describes how these Nazgul had terrified the horses and riders. And really, to carry that emotion, you just had to see these great beasts just scooping up riders and horses. So we had to just work out these very complex actions to get all the horses and riders to, to fit into one another and to fit amongst the live action horses and riders. The horses on set were choreographed to peel apart so that we had the space in the middle. A really complex shot to pull off because we have you know, the, the digital horses alongside the real ones. The first step is to just to track a digital camera to match the onset camera. And they'll put in cones and spheres and, and a rough ground plane to check that the digital camera is matching what the real camera was doing. Then we had to bring in the animated uh, puppets, which are low resolution, gray shaded objects. Then the animators will, will start blocking in the action and start trying different variations of how the shot could come together, showing variations to Peter. Now let's get some more horses in there, let's make it really complex, really make it look great. To bring a digital horse to life requires a really complex and sophisticated and highly detailed model of a real horse. So we would start with sculpts of real horses that would be scanned, digitized, and reworked by our model department to get all the muscle detail uh, primarily where it needed to be. And then it goes into lighting and texturing. And then adding all these shading tricks to, to so the light reflects off the skin of the horse in, in such a way that it looks like the horse has a fine layer of fur. And then the compositor will be working as well on just balancing all these elements into the plate, adding the environment, a bit of lens flare, and just a whole lot of stuff that helps to sell the shot. We're also using motion capture on horses here for the first time on Film 3, where we rigged out one of the, um, one of the studios to, uh, so that we could gallop horses all the way through it. To motion capture a horse is pretty tricky given the, the size of the stage that you can put them on. We take a live horse, we put little reflective markers all over it, and then we can gallop it through a space that's got lots and lots of cameras rigged up to track those markers that are on the, the real horse. And then the software that's running in real time will apply that motion to a skeleton of the horse within the computer. So yeah, there's really two basic approaches to creating motion for the horses. We can hand a horse puppet over to, to an animator, and the animator can actually keyframe that motion directly onto that puppet. Or we can actually record the motion off a real horse. However, for the actual falls, that all had to be done with keyframe animation, because again, there was no way to perform that kind of an, an action, either on camera or to motion capture it. Is there an animation approval? Animation approval, you reckon, on the show, eh? The first time we showed the digital horses to Peter getting wiped out by the Nazgul, he said, OK, I can't tell which ones are real and which ones are digital. I, I like the, the feeling of that handheld sort of feel. It's good. Aided and abetted by the ever-improving digital technology, there really is no limit to what we can put on screen except uh, the limit of our imaginations. And the digital horses are a perfect example of this because we're calling upon them to do things that you'd never call upon a real animal to do.